In this video, I'll demonstrate a program, a Java program, that calculates how far we can throw a ball on a given planet. It will utilize the math class and string objects. If we want to calculate the distance that you could throw a projectile, you can use the range equation from physics. This is the range equation, and it calculates the distance r based on the initial speed s and the angle of of the uh, initial um, velocity of the projectile, and g, the uh, gravitational acceleration. So we're going to assume here that we can throw the ball, say, 50 miles per hour, or 22.35 meters per second. We'll assume that the angle, initial angle that we throw the ball is about 45 degrees. And of course, this all assumes that there is no air. So the purpose of the program is to compute how far I can throw a ball or kick a ball on a given planet. The input is the name of the planet and the gravitational acceleration. And the process is to use that range equation that we saw on the last slide and uh, calculate the distance that way. And then the output is going to be the distance that the ball would travel. Here's a pseudocode. We'd like to display the words enter the name of the planet and then read in the name. We'll display enter the gravitational acceleration of the planet in meters per second. We'll read that in. We'll compute the range using the range equation and store that in the variable range. Then we'll display a, a message, um, you can kick a ball blank meters on the planet blank, where the first blank will have the value of the variable range and the second will have the value of the, of the variable that holds the planet name. Here's some test data that we'll use to test our program. These are different gravitational accelerations on the Moon, Earth, and Mars. So we should expect, of course, to be able to throw the ball farther on the Moon and um, farther on Mars than we can on the Earth. Okay, so to get started, I, I need to start with my basic template for a Java program. I decided to call my class Ballistics, so I used, I used that as the class name, and I made sure to save it in a file called ballistics.java, making sure that the, the capitalization and everything was the same between the, between the class name and the file name. Also, I decided to use a capital B in the class name because that's just standard Java convention to use capital letters when we're, when we're using class name identifiers. So I'll get started by creating the variables that I know I'm going to need. There are two constants for my program. One is the initial speed and the other is the initial angle. And both of those I'll just declare as final variables. I'm going to need a variable for the name of the planet, and that'll be a string. I'll need a variable for the gravitational acceleration, and that will be a double. And finally, I'll need a variable for the range or the total distance. Now I'll create an instance of the scanner class so I can read in keyboard input. And now I'll just read in the input that I need. I'll prompt the user first and then read in the input. So we'll start with the planet name. Next, I'll prompt in and read for the prompt and read in the uh, gravitational acceleration.
Okay, now I've got all the input that I need. I'll just go ahead and calculate the distance using that range equation. Basically, the range equation is the speed squared divided by the gravitational acceleration times the sine of 2 times the angle. So I'll start with calculating the first part of that equation, which is the speed squared divided by the gravitational acceleration. To calculate the speed squared, I could have also used the POW method from the math class. Okay, that's the first term. Now, to calculate the second term, I need to calculate the sine of the angle. So I'll use the math class for that. So I need to calculate 2 times the angle. Now, the math class, the sine method and the cosine method, and the other trigonometric functions require that the angle be given in radians. And the way that I've stored the angle right now is stored in degrees. So I actually need to convert it. Luckily there's a method in the math class that helps with that. It's called two radians. The two radians method will take the angle, will take as, as, its, as its argument, the angle in degrees and will return the angle in radians. So that should do it. Now I'm just going to print out the results. Okay, now I'm going to compile and test. Okay, so taking a look at my test data, the first one I'm going to test is the moon. Gravitational acceleration is 1.622 and I should expect to get about 307.97 meters. Okay, looks good. I'll run it again with the Earth. Gravitational acceleration 9.8 so we can throw the ball about 50.972 that matches with our test data. Finally, we'll do Mars. And that also matches with what we'd expect. So that about does it. Thanks for listening. See you next time.